Hey, Internet. Where are we? We're over here. <laughs> this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. I've got a brand new mic. Uh, finally decided to bite the bullet. I'm going to be doing some uh, PlayStation 5 recordings later. So I needed something that was more portable and a little bit higher quality, more omnidirectional. So uh, first off, let me know how the uh, microphone is. Also, let me know if uh, you like this uh, video guide. The goal here is to educate on how the top scores on the kill leaderboard are performed. So I've done a lot of attempts at top score. I think right now I'm ranked 10th. Let me just double check where we're at here with uh, the um, leaderboard. So if I look at my profile, I am currently 10th place in inlaid library. I'm about 9,000 kills short, which is like a lot, but I'll kind of explain the difference between uh, my run and uh, some of the better runs, as well as just in general, how to perform what is a fairly difficult and fairly RNG based run. Um, okay, so let me just finalize getting my stuff set up here. If you uh, like this video, would appreciate um, a like, as well as if you're interested in more monster, not monster train, oh, man, vampire survivors and or other gaming content, like what I've been putting out on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. But with that, let's jump into the run. So first off, uh, power ups, you need everything. Uh, I was doing some attempt at death kills later. Also, I'm not doing the optimum money use. So don't worry about that. I've got so much money, it doesn't matter. Um, what we're gonna go for, first off, uh, you have to go Arca. A lot of questions around what champion do you use? What character do you use for these high death runs? Uh, it's gotta be Arca. The reason why is cooldown reduction has the highest immediate impact on DPS over every other base stat. And it only gets better the higher the cooldown reduction. So uh, going from, you might think 15%, well, it's not that much, right? You get like almost 35% out of the tome. What's an extra 15%? But the reality is, is that it's not 15% multiplicative, it's additive. So that other 15% actually reduces you from an overall 40% reduction. So 60% cooldown would then go down to a 45% cooldown a reduction of roughly an additional 25%. So it's actually really significant. And there's a couple reasons why cooldown reduction also increased DPS is besides just like the obvious, like you're casting stuff more often. Uh, it also means that if you're killing things more often, more frequently, um, it means that things are being spawned more frequently, especially early game. Once you get to level 30, really it's between level 20 and level 30, there are massive waves in the early part of the game that are going to make up a huge difference on whether you get into the top score or end up getting sad in the bottom, you know, bottom hundred or, or whatever, right? Like you need that, you need that early uh, kills when there's not that high health on the enemies. It's all about number of projectiles out is, is the biggest significant impact onto your overall DPS. A um, couple things there. So, um, how do you get the high DPS early? The biggest things that you want are knife as early as possible. Uh, the reason being is that at rank five, I believe, uh, knife gets piercing. Once knife starts to pierce, you can just start mowing down waves. So the combination of knife plus extreme cooldown reduction means that you're gonna be able to mow down entire waves with just your knife and your knife extends slightly past the screen. So you'll actually kill things off screen. And if things die off screen, they spawn that much faster. So uh, yeah, knife is the biggest early impact on your overall DPS. And uh, you need to maneuver around your knife in order to get the most out of every single wave. So we're gonna re-roll every single run. We're gonna keep going until we get knife out of that first gem on the table in the library. So knife early, second is duplicator early. So those are the kind of your two big things. You can guarantee the tome because we're gonna we're gonna beeline to the left, go for all the tomes we can. The more we get, the better. I think at max you can get three tomes 
Uh, you could also get no tomes. So, so another thing we're going to check on is how quickly we can get a tome. If we don't get a tome within like the first 70 seconds, we'll restart the run because you're you're basically going to struggle for the rest of the run. You need that early uh, DPS impact from those early books. So again, we're going to be looking for early tomes. We're going to be looking for early knife, early duplicator, and then the rest is just fleshing out the build. So we're going to want knives. We're going to want lightning. Uh, since we're going to get Duplicator anyway, we're going to want Lightning for the uh, Thunder Loop. We're going to want Labora. We're going to want Hellfire. We're going to want Spiral Death. And we're going to want Vandalier. That's going to be our setup here. Yeah, first four to seven cycles, exactly. And there's a percent chance of each. They get less the farther you go out. So the first one has the highest percent chance, and then it decreases with each one. Um, we don't necessarily need to get three tomes. Two tomes is ideal. Well, three tomes is ideal. Two tomes is pretty standard. One tome is kind of a sad time. No tomes is a restart, auto restart. You don't even try because you need that early tome. Uh, one, to secure it so it's in your item list, and two, you need that early DPS output from the early tome. Another note with tome that's very important, there's a bug and it still has not been fixed that uh, the tome does not apply to your weapons unless that weapon has leveled up. So uh, you don't want to max out your weapon before you max out your tome. If you max out your weapon before the tome, you will not get the full effect of the tome's decrease. This is different from your level up de decrease in cooldown reduction. So uh, your level up will auto apply, but the tome is bugged and won't apply until after you've leveled up the weapon. Hopefully they patch that out soon because it's very annoying on other runs, but uh, it also affects here. Um, outside of that, it's really about just kind of steadily moving to the right, doing a little bit of shake in your movement to get the knives to go up and down, but largely moving to the right. And really it's like around the nine minute mark, there's a massive wave. If you don't have like insane knife levels by then you restart because uh you're gonna need at least i would say roughly twenty thousand kills by 10 minutes or you're you're just not gonna be on pace so we're gonna jump in we're gonna give it a try uh we're not gonna do clarice we're gonna do arca and with that let's jump into the run of course i am gonna turn on sound that will help so it's more exciting as we play yeah so keep weapons at seven or below or lancet at six and below before you get tome fully evolved or else you won't get the full impact of the tome's cooldown reduction. No knife, we restart. I could also, uh, you know what, I will. I'll start using the uh, the reroll if we don't get knife early. Okay, easy enough. But knife is the only one you want at the beginning. Yeah, well, but uh, not every weapon has uh, eight ranks. Uh, Pendle, pen, what is it called? The crucifix, the pen, the pentagram. Pentagram and lancet only have seven levels. They don't have eight levels total. Which is why it's not less than eight. It needs to be less than the maximum of that weapon. Yeah. No knives. Somebody has made off with all my knives. Those dirt bags, when I find them, they will be so upset. Also important to note, your first level up will always be a weapon, but you can re-roll out of getting a first weapon. So on re-roll, see like here, we didn't get any weapons. But your first your first upgrade will always be a weapon before the re-roll. Man, we are getting very unlucky. No knives. I feel like I must have like been really um, mean to some like Cutco representative a long time ago, and now I'm facing the consequences. Should have gotten that Cutco kit. Now I'm getting punished. By the way, my friend did Cutco for a long time. I don't know if anyone has Cutco knives. Uh, I ended up getting a set of knives from my uh, cousin. Yeah, that must be it. I must have removed knife from the game files. Alright. And now we're just going to beeline. We'll try to kill other things on the way. 
but we're largely just going to beeline for the tome. Now, uh, to get to the top, you probably need to do what uh, the top person did, which is luck out and get a, a mega chest in your opening chest. Certainly helps things. Uh, all this is trash. We will take Candle Labrador. Okay, we are getting very unlucky right now. We have not gotten the uh, kit or the setup yet. Alright, do we get first knife? Or first tome, I should say. We get a tome. There's one. Okay, so we got one by 50 seconds. We're gonna go to the uh, second one. There should be one in the next section. If we rolled right. Uh, let's go lightning ring. Okay, second one. We're gonna stick with this, and now we're gonna start focusing on kills. And we're gonna just make sure that all of our knives hit. No wasted knives. Goal here is to just get levels as quickly as possible, and we try as best we can to level up the knife. I'm gonna grab Ebony Wings. We might get some AoE out of it. Duplicator by five minute mark is uh, also pretty much mandatory. Don't waste knives, Nate. Okay, uh, not great, but at least now my, uh, now my um, fire wand will use my cooldown reduction, which is nifty. But this is looking like maybe a restart. We have not gotten any knife upgrades at all. Okay, there's knife. There we go. You can see that massive increase in uh, DPS from leveling up the knife after we got the tome. No, 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 absolutely not. We do not want 7th passive. It takes way too long to level up already in the kill run. We need the cooldown reduction as soon as humanly possible. Because there are waves in the first five minutes that have massive, massive amount of enemies and have no, like, they die instantly to all weapons. So it's all about cooldown reduction. And if you wait, you just will not be able to kill that much. So you beeline for them as early as possible. I'm going to take the knife now, so we get even more cooldown reduction and more knives. Only thing I would take instead of knives would be if it's not offered, or duplicator. That's it. Like, even here... We're still not even on pace with uh, the top. Okay, duplicator. Fantastic. Knives. Ah, gosh dang it. So, like, at this point in the run, it's all about mass killing. Already. Uh, let's go Candle Labrador. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's knife upgrade. Knife upgrade all the way. Knives, low cooldown knives is how you're going to kill all this early game stuff. Duplicator. Oh, did I get Fire Wand there? I did. Gosh dang it, controller. So sensitive. Okay. This is where we can take some time. Oh, wait, no, this is not. This is not yet. I lied. Uh, again, we don't want to max out yet because we have not maxed out our Tome yet. So we'll get to level 7 and then stop until we get Tome. Just do one of these. Thank you. Ok, 
Okay, more knives. Love it. More fire wands. You can look how fast we're just mowing these guys down. This is what we need. Lightning ray or duplicator. Die. Thank you. Okay, that's six. Fire one. Okay, we're just focused on spawning as many things as we can. Okay, uh... And we're relying... Oh, hello. Okay, we cannot max uh, Fire Wand. Just gonna try to kill as many of these as we can. One more wave. Okay. Now we can kind of slow down a bit. And what we want to do is try to get to the point where we see them, they're, they're no longer spawning gems. Once they're no longer spawning gems, that means we have a mega gem on the board and we can go back and try to collect it. We're not gonna get the uh, stone mask because it's pretty trash. I wonder if we can get a Mega Gem this early, actually. Well, not by going that way. Hold on. Try to circle back, see if we can get either a Vacuum or a Mega Gem. That would be really huge. Okay, there's Tome, level 4. We just need one more level of Tome. And then all of our stuff gets real fun. You can see I'm not killing everything, but I'm killing the green ones, which are instant kills. And that's really the most important thing. We're trying to just maximize the amount of kills we're getting. So the best way is to spawn as many green blobs as possible. Because they only they all die to one hit to knives. Now, if I did have... Uh, full cooldown reduction and knives instead of uh, all these levels into fire wand. This would be much easier, but uh, it's okay. Now I'm going to start trying to collect more XP. Let's grab spinach. We really don't want to max out fire wand until after we've gotten level 5 cooldown reduction. Yeah, I'm doing it on controller. I used to play not on controller, but I think it's like not mandatory, but pretty important. I gotta watch out because I might accidentally level my fire wand or my knives to level eight from the. I'm gonna try to get a level uh, first and hopefully grab the cooldown reduction tome. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we can get this without worrying. Fantastic. So now our fire wand will take into account all of the cooldown reduction. I mean, little jiggle movements to try to catch uh, the units that are up and down from us. Yeah, we really need to be way higher right now. We're still pretty low to reach 10 minutes, but maybe we can still catch up a bit. The nine minute mark will help out a lot. 
Really need to get a uh, Mega Gem. Okay, there's maxed out knives. Look at the difference. Okay, let's grab a Bracer. I mean, you can hear the difference in how fast everything moves. Let's grab spinach. Gonna try to get up to 10,000 if we can. It's gonna be hard. I don't know if we have enough damage right now. We put so many levels. Uh, okay, we need Santa water. Last thing we're gonna need is um, the uh, pigeon. Okay, let's continue to level Santa Water. Bandolier. Santa Labrador, I mean. Not Bandolier. Okay, now we can get uh, upgraded knives, which is really massive for. Oh my gosh! Hopefully we get, we need upgraded knives and upgraded uh, fire wand. Hopefully we get both. We don't, but we got knives, which is way better. Now things get completely out of hand. Okay. Uh, yeah, very, very early Penta for sure. And now we can just mow down everything. Yeah. I can't hear you, sweetheart. You're going to have to come in. Uh, that's true, I did. I don't know. We'll have to see, okay? What? Yeah, that's true. All right. You just gonna watch for a minute? So I got my daughter in the background. She wants to play Slime Rancher, but we'll see. We'll see. That's true. Okay, so now we're still just crushing things. We would like to get Pigeon as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, I think if we do rotate at a certain point, we should get a Mega Gem. Because we've been stacking up a lot of kills. So I'm going to look on screen for any type of red gem. Let's see if we can't find something. But this is a good way for us to just kind of focus on clearing. So I don't want to get too distracted looking for red gems right now. Uh, let's continue loving Santa water. Labora would be pretty good. Labora has the nice benefit of anything spawning from the left will instantly die to Labora, getting us more kills, even though they're off screen kills. Because Labora sits uh, completely off screen until it hits the point where enemies spawn from. Hello. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go looking for a red gem. Which should be our Mega Gem, if we can find it. Okay, well, let's continue back this way. Let's do a quick rotation. Uh, I have not, because I, I refuse to do it through by altering the game's code. And I've been getting very unlucky. It's going to be a huge level up here. Uh, I've refused to do it through... Uh, I've been trying to do it, sorry, I've been trying to do it through the actual way you're supposed to do it. And it has been brutal. Santa water, lightning ring, lightning ring. We have to skip because we don't want any of these. We need pigeon. Santa water, Santa water. Okay, huge level up. It is super hard. We'll try to do it later if we have time. It requires so much good movement from Reaper, but 
Uh, it's gotten easier. There's been I was actually planning to put out a guide on it, but I keep getting unlucky in my runs. But there's a much easier setup now than there used to be, um, which I can show how to do. Yeah, you can sit there. Just move the boxes. Okay, there's Hellfire. Uh, let's continue with Lightning Ring. People that are watching. Who are you talking to? Oh. Did I say you could talk to me? <laughs> the people on the stream? That's fair. No one said I was allowed. Guys, are you okay if I talk to you? Elena's not sure that uh, you've all given me permission to talk to you. So I'm going to need every single person that's currently watching to confirm in chat for permission to talk to you, or my daughter's going to be very upset. Might file a legal dispute. <laughs> all right. Okay, I've got one person said it's okay. Two people did. That's three. Four. Five people. Five people have confirmed. Yeah. What? <laughs> Six. All right. So we're at almost 20K. This looks like a top 15 run. I don't believe this is going to get to... The <laughs> guide might not be so useful if I don't talk. That's a very fair point. Um, this looks like it's probably going to cap out around 71, 72,000. Uh, just because early we didn't get quite as many knife upgrades, we were getting a lot of fire wand upgrades. Bible Evolved, thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the, uh, the stream here. I'm going to break my fingers doing this run. Hey, Pigeon! Love it. Love a late pigeon. You don't want an early pigeon. Getting pigeon too early is not so good, but getting it this late is fantastic. It's really only useful late game for uh, finishing off things that are going up to top and bottom that you can't get with the knives. Okay, we're going to go... Now that we have full lightning ring, I'm just going to go full right mode. Lightning ring should pick off most of the things on the sides. We just want to generate as many uh, enemies as possible now. You can quiet yourself now. If you can't contribute anything useful, I don't want to hear from you. I'm allowed to talk to whoever I want. I'm a, I'm a grown man. When you're a grown woman, you can talk to whoever you want. Yeah, it's not the best one, though, I said. Uh, we, I need to update it. We'll do an updated version of that guide at the end of this video. And I'll talk through what has been discovered and changes, how you don't know, you no longer have to get bone, and there's a much, much easier setup. Yeah, we're unswiveling. We have enough damage on the sides with the lightning ring that we're good. You can see nothing's, nothing's dying. We're generating max amounts of units, and nothing or nothing survives. They all die. So we're good. Which is good, because my fingers are very tired. Swiveling takes a lot of effort. Let's continue with the uh, birds. Where are we at with everything else? So both San Santa Water is ready to evolve. We just need to get Pigeon up there. Okay, there's another. This is going to be Santa Water, so we got Labora. Hey. Yeah, we'll walk through the way without bone. Maybe after this run we'll do it. Okay. The only problem with showing that run on stream is that not a lot going on. <laughs> You're just sitting in place for 30 minutes. How do I find it streaming on both? Um... I mean, I can only do it now because I'm only an affiliate on Twitch. If I was a Twitch, uh, what's the word for it? Not affiliate, but the other thing, the next level. Twitch partner is what I think it's called. If I was a Twitch partner, you're not allowed. You have to pick. Uh, but for me right now, this is fine. It's going to be a massive amount of levels. It's a good time for it. 
This should cap us out completely. Then all we'll need is to get Vandalier out of a chest. And we're in a good spot. Let's grab Pigeon. Wait till you see the red gem, and then we'll get massive amounts of uh, levels all at once. There it is. Boom. Boom. This is going to be a full maxing of everything. Also, if you're wondering why I have turned off um, DPS numbers, damage numbers, it's because uh, it takes too long to render and you'll lose some enemy units due to the long time to render. It's actually the only problem with Lightning Ring is Lightning Ring added quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of um, like effects on the screen, which uh, slows down things a bit. You can see how good Lightning Ring is. Lightning Ring is just blowing enemies apart. It's super strong now. It was already strong before, but uh, way stronger now. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. About to hit 40k. It's a pretty early 40k. Uh, this could be a mid 70,000. It really depends largely on what we end up getting by the... Uh... By the way, one time I had a glitch right here where uh, nothing spawned with the witch. It was just the witch and that was it. Super annoying. Uh, but now we should be good. Now we seem to get axe and level everything up. I don't think there's anything else that actually be worth. Would Rune Tracer be better than Axe? I don't know. Pentagram is also interesting as a thought. Maybe we get Pentagram. What if we got Pentagram instead? Oh, but we couldn't... The, prob ah, the problem is we wouldn't be able to get the... Uh... No, wait. We would get the cooldown reduction. Okay. Moi uh... Jesui Smoi Haha. My goodness. Thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the run and the rest of the stream. What are you even playing? Mario Party. Splatoon. Donkey Kong. What are you playing? Oh, Animal Crossing. Crossing all your animals. Um, uh, cool. So, yeah, right now... Ju See, I'm really thinking Pentagram, man. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go Pentagram. I think it's worth it. Even though the cooldown's pretty long, like, I feel like instant kill late in the game is the only way to pump up the numbers. So I'm gonna try it and just see how it goes. You switched on Twitch. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, we want to do as many pentagrams as we can early. Vandalier is really for the late, late game, but even pentagram works quite well here. 42,000. So there's... Hold on. Kill you. Well, we'll let you go. We're going to keep going to the right for now. Now you're dead. Okay, great. What do we get? Pentagram. Fantastic. Yeah, I think that uh, Pentagram has the advantage of in the very, very late game of mass killing everything on screen. And Axe does almost nothing late game. And I feel like we're killing everything just fine right now. So I, I, I feel like there's some value there. Your name is a French sentence. Ma je suis moi ha ha. Is that pretty close? Ma moi je moi je suis moi ha ha. Yeah? No? Am I way off? <laughs> pretty good. Okay. I did take French uh, for two years in junior high school. Unfortunately, my French teacher didn't know how to speak French. Made it complicated to learn. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna level up Vandalier because I want to get ideally level ups on uh, level ups on uh, the pentagram when we have much more or a lot more enemies on screen. We're at 45,000 right now. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Could be a personal best. We'll have to see. Really depends on, largely on how pentagram performs in the late late part of the game. Yeah, weird, right? How could the American school system produce such low quality teachers? It's a mystery. Unsolvable. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, she spoke really good Spanish, though. I think she, in general, was just like the language teacher. So it was like, if you wanted to take any language at all, you were going to get it from her. It just so happened that she was good at French. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to worry about the chest. I'm just going to focus on the, the moving forward. This is a very slow wave for a minute. Next wave gets a lot better, though. Get some HPs. Almost, uh, we want to max out Vandalier first. And then we'll uh, max out the last little bit of the pentagram. Nice. 47,000. So top score is about 36,000 away. Going to be tough to get that much, but I think uh, definitely 70,000 was within reach. Maybe mid-70s. We'll have to see. How's sound balance, by the way? Is the mic loud enough, or do I need to pump it up at all? Okay, there's another pentagram right away. I can also turn down the uh, game sound if it's too loud. Little bandolier. Good stuff. Still killing most everything that gets spawned on screen, that's good. Nice, insta give. So that's 49,000. Fine, okay. Good. Then I won't stress about it. Should get to 51, 52,000 by the end of this wave. And the next wave's even bigger. Oh wait, is the next wave... I think the next wave's bigger. If I remember right. 49... 50? 50,000. Okay. Yeah, next wave is much bigger. Pentagram. 50. This is where Pentagram becomes really big, is in these ones. These waves. We can just insta-give the entire screen. That'll be pretty good. The one thing that uh, axes, do, axes do pretty well, though, is protecting you. But I think we'll be good anyway. Okay, there's 52,000. Should hit 53 relatively soon. Let's get some floor chicken. We should hit a pentagram soon. Okay. There's 53. There's 54. Okay. This is another really big wave. Particle effect slowing everything down. Fifty six thousand. Fifty seven thousand. Fifty eight thousand. Okay, almost fifty nine thousand. 
There's 59. Should get to 60 now. Sixty. One more pentagram? Probably not. I think there's only three pentagrams per wave. That was a good wave to do it though. Kill the boss instantly. Sixty-one. Okay, so we need at least another ten thousand, nine thousand to get to the seventy thousand range. The next wave is another really big one. We should get at least another thousand out of this wave. And the next wave we can get easily six, seven thousand by itself. And then it's a matter of the final waves, how well we can do. Okay, we're at 61. Can we get 62? Okay, almost 62. And super close. 62. Fantastic. Good stuff. Nice. Woo. We need to go a little bit slower now. We just don't have quite enough knockback to just fully burn to the right. Almost a 70k. get, there we go, there's 70. Almost to 71. Should get another pentagram soon. There's 71. There's 71, 200. Seventy-one five. Here's the fun time. This is when pentagram becomes really valuable. Because you just struggle to kill this many units at once. There we go, 72. We'll get one more pentagram, so we might end up at 73. Still not my PB. My PB is 74,000, but still quite good. If we'd gotten knife uh, upgrades earlier instead of all those fire wand upgrades earlier, that actually would have made the difference. Only difference that we needed was earlier knife upgrades. Maybe we can even get a third pentagram. We'll have to see. I don't think so. I think we're going to get one more. There's one. 72,000, maybe we get to 73 if we get a lucky late pentagram, but I don't think we're, I don't think we have any more pentagrams in us. But maybe without pentagram, we still get to 73. We get a revive. Okay, we got close to 73. 
Not bad. 72,900, 72, so that would have put us at... Let's see. Leaderboard. Inlaid library, most kills. 7,3,9,6,7,2,9,6,1. So that would have put us at 15th place. So that's why I say, like, everything early game makes a massive difference in the in the run outcome. And uh, so we'll, let's try it again. Let's try to do another early game. Let's see if we can get, a, like, a perfect early game. And then later we'll try the, uh, the, the Killing Reaper run. Okay, so we're going for Knife. Okay. You have to get Knife as your first item. And then, again, ideally you get almost... Okay, there we go. You get almost exclusively knife as your uh, upgrades early game. Knife and duplicator are like the two main ones that you want. Uh, none of. Oh, I don't really want to get pigeon early. We'll take a tome. This means we have the potential to have like four tomes very quickly. Okay, so we're about where the first tome is going to appear. Do we get lucky on the first tome? So yeah, it's tome, tome and knife are the two big early game pushes. Okay. Okay, there's the first tome. We got first tome. That's good. Uh, fire wand. So at least fire wand will incorporate the speed here. But not, uh, not knife yet. We need to level up knife again. We also need to get more tomes. Still no tomes. If we only get two tomes, if we only get the one tome, we'll restart. This might be a one tome level here. We have like one more section left where we can get one. There's spinach. Okay, so we'll restart. Pretty decent start, except for the fact that we uh, didn't get. Okay, there's another knife. We'll try to level up as much as we can here. Duplicator would also be really good early. But um, knives and tomes. Fantastic, more knives. Love it. Just remember, we can get all this XP later, so I'm not stressing too much about missing a little bit of XP. About 50 seconds is when we should get the first tome. So it's the next section should be a tome. Fantastic. Got it. Good. There should be one at... Now there's a chance every section to get one. We want to get at least two. So far, not. Uh, Reroll. Pick spinach. Absorber orbs also kind of interesting early, because then it's a little bit easier to level. But I don't know. Still no second tome yet. A little suspect. Uh, let's get bracer. Okay, there's a second tome. Good. Now we just need to level up knife. Again. Without dying. And uh, fire one. Oh, don't die. Whew. 
Scary times. Don't die, Nate. No. Nice. Love it. Woo. Woo. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Yep. They're gonna go to bed. Maybe you should do that too. Duplicator, love it. This looks a lot better than the last run even. A lot more knife upgrades. Got duplicator early, got tombs. This is all great. Okay, there's Fire Wand. Now Fire Wand will also incorporate all the cooldown reduction we've got. Two more levels also, we get the first uh, Arca cooldown reduction, which is pretty good. I'm trying to get some, I think an early good chest here as well. That would not be bad. Okay, more Fire Wand. Again, not really what we're looking for, but it's fine. What do we get? Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Okay, we got one of that. One of each. Uh, let's go duplicator. This is actually way better than where we were at before. More knives. Okay, now we get pass through. That is a very early pass through. Look at this. Let me just mow these guys down. Okay, uh, cooldown reduction. Remember, we have to get to five cooldown reduction tomes before we uh, level up the knives to all the way, or any weapon all the way. Let's get fire wand. Okay, there they are. Get nervous there for a second. Okay, there's four. Uh, I will grab lightning ring here. I think it will add a lot of uh, kills per second to our build. Capturing anything that doesn't get killed by our knives. Home level five, fantastic. Now we just need to level up knives again. Level up knives, level up lightning ring, level up fire wands, so they all take benefit from the cooldown reduction. Look at that, look at that. Such a huge increase in kills per second. By the way, we were at 1000 at this point. We are now at We're now at 1,700, so we're almost double the amount of kills we had at that point. Let's get Santa water. So at this point, we can start the wiggle. We are starting the wiggle a full two waves ahead of time. That's crazy. There's knives almost maxed out. The only thing we need for weapons is the birds. And we're good. We still have a skip in case we get a bad uh, roll on a level up. But this is looking very, very, very solid. Okay, this is a very slow wave. I'm gonna go uh, start collecting some of the XP that we missed. And try to get ourselves back up. Uh, let's get Lightning Ring. Take advantage of the cooldown reduction. Not tons of kills here. 
available, so just killing a handful is fine. That's nah, probably worth still just getting kills. I'm trying to go for a vacuum if we can get one. Really just need a, a mega gem though. A mega gem will get us like at least two or three levels worth of experience that we've missed that's left on the ground. Or yeah, vacuum or mega gem. Okay, wave's gonna get bigger soon. We'll have to reignite or re restart the wiggle. Remember last time when we did the wiggle at this point we weren't killing the zombies or the headless uh, the headless zombies. We were just killing the green things. Now we're killing both super effectively. So as I said, really big difference. This is actually a way better run. Which is uh, hilarious. To immediately get into like a really solid run right away. This could be at 12,000 by 10 minute, which would be a full 2,000 ahead of where we were, which would definitely be on par for my personal best. And should only get better as it goes along, because that means if we're killing things that much faster earlier, uh, we'll get to our max levels that much faster as well. Okay, there's one bird. I also really, I, I'm, I'm still unsure about the pentagram. I think it's probably good. Eek out just a few more kills, but Hard to say. Okay, there's Max Knife. This should just be a complete annihilation at this point. Just need it evolved. But this is looking incredibly solid. Because being able to kill this quickly on the next wave will be insane. With a triple pass through, we're going to just destroy the skeletons. Okay, uh, let's go... Let's get Fire Wand. I think Fire Wand is currently wasn't taking advantage of the full cooldown reduction. So getting that to be fully cooldown will be good. And then the next target is just to get to level 30. Increase cooldown again. Um, yeah, we gotta hope that somehow in the Skeleton Wave we're able to grab a Mega Gem. That would really push it over the edge. Yeah, look at that, just mowing them down. Let's go Lightning Ring again. Grab that. 6,000. Coming up. Absorb, really good. Oh, we have to do a skip. Okay, there's Pigeon. That's full items. Only thing we're missing is Candle Labrador. Let's go Fire Wand. I don't want to max Fire Wand because I 100% want to get my... Uh, oh, it's like 12,000. I think it's probably going to be maybe a 10,000. Oh crap, I just maxed Fire Wand. But I had to. I had no other choice. I had no choice, guys! 8,000. Can we get to 9,000 by the end? There's Candle Labrador. A little bit bigger knives will help as well. Okay, there's the... Uh... <sighs> Dang it. Really didn't want Hellfire. Really wanted the knives. But it's okay. We should still be okay for a while. Um... Let's get damage numbers, bracers, like all that kind of stuff up first. I guess the nice thing about the fire is that it now pierces, so it's way more useful, but I still think getting the uh, other one would have been better. Okay, well that helps for a while, getting fire breath. There's 10,000.
Maybe we just run forward now. Don't wiggle anymore. Let the rest take care of everything. Much bigger lightning strikes now. Additional 100% area. Maybe this is the right path. Okay. I mean, we're killing most everything. Some things are escaping, but we are spawning enemies faster than if we were doing the wiggle. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go a track orb for now. I don't think we need more damage. I think we need more levels faster. Really need to get either a vacuum or a mega gem though. There's so much experience left on the table right now. Let's continue with the orb. orb. Oh, I probably should have got kind of kind of Labrador actually for bigger meteors. It's a smaller wave or it's a bigger wave. It's a pretty similar wave. Lightning ring? No chest. Dang. Let's head back a little bit, see if we can't get it to generate a uh, mega gem here. Looks like in terms of spawns, we're about equal anyway. Looking for a red gem. Not seeing it. Let's head back again. Red gem, red gem. Where are you, red gem? There's a time stop. We definitely don't want that. Lightning. There it is. Candle Labrador. Candle Labrador. Lightning Ring. Santa Water. Santa Water. Santa Water. Candle Labrador. Labrador. Santa Water. Now we should be good. Meteors are freaking huge. Lightning is super huge. And fully maxed out. There's our. Knives. Track orb. Damage wise, we're good. Fourteen thousand. What we want to do is wait for really good waves to upgrade Pentagram in. Um, let's go Bracer. Okay, we're closing in on 16,000. Anyone? Have I ever killed death? No, I've gotten stupidly close. Uh, but I keep getting unlucky. We'll do that run after this. We'll do a death kill run. And uh, there's a simplified way to kill death that I haven't been able to try yet. And we'll try that after this run. Uh, let's go Bracer again. Hold on. There you go. Can someone go back and check where we were at at this same point? So if someone's watching on YouTube and wouldn't mind doing me a solid, go check out where we were around 15 minutes in terms of kills. Get some damage in. 
Yeah, there's a much simpler way than the wiki. You don't need bone. You can do it without bone. I'll show it after this, and we'll do a short, uh, a short, uh, what's the word for it? Tutorial, and then we'll do a demonstration. 28k at 15? Holy crap, we were so much higher. There's three. There's four. That's what I was feeling like. I feel like we were... We started off a lot better, and then we slowed down partway through. Dang, so this is actually going to be less. Because we're only at 26,000 now. Dang. All right, well, let's try it again. Well, you know what? Let's do the death run. Let's do the death kill run. So, to do death kill run, first thing you need to do is refund all your power-ups. I don't care the order because of... Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to do... Uh, should we do it with or without? Let's do with. Cooldown reduction. We're going to manipulate the fact that... Uh, um, we're going to ma manipulate the fact that you can time when to level up your... Uh, your lancet. There's a perfect combination. Let me just double check. Um... Look at my diagram here. So at fully maxed, if you get Spellbinder, you want either no cooldown reduction or five. If you don't get Spellbinder, then you want three cooldown reduction or five. Because the, the Spellbinder also affects how long your... Uh, how long your... Um, freeze last four. So here's the uh, here's the guide. So you you have to get no magnet, no growth. We're gonna be playing as Clarice. You go into the library, and what we're gonna do first is talk about the setup. So the setup is with all that thing in place. You grab the gem, you get Rune Tracer. Okay, so you have to get Rune Tracer. It's mandatory. Or you just get really unlucky. First we couldn't get our knives, now we can't get our rune tracer. But that run went well, so maybe we'll get lucky here as well. Nope. Wow, really unlucky. No rune tracers at all. So you grab rune tracer. Oh, hyper on. Grab Rune Tracer. Uh, I don't want to re-roll for it. I feel like we need the re-roll later. Yeah, I know we keep getting Rune Tracer on re-roll, but I really, really, really feel like we need the re-roll later. And it's so easy to just restart if you don't get Rune Tracer. Stop. Not you, you're fine. Quit crossing your animals, Elena. Or keep crossing your animals. Don't worry about me. What? You're not talking? Okay, I'll stop talking to you then. What? Oh, you're talking to me? Okay, so the positioning is, once you get Rune Tracer, you want your hand to be in line with the clock extension, and you want your belt just slightly above the top line of the stairs on the panel. So again, hand in line with that like triangle that comes out of the clock and you want your belt positioned just above the top stair and then you'll never die. It's very precise, but once you get it, then you're good and we can sit here all day. So let's talk about why this works and the context for why this works. So a couple things, one, uh, Rune Tracer is getting stuck between the big bookcase and the chair. Um, and the hitbox of Rune Tracer is much larger than your character sprite. So as long as you stay in this exact position, uh, should be that everything is going to die uh, before it ever reaches you. 
The other reason why everything dies is all enemies, including the Reaper, scale off of your character level. So the higher your character level, the higher the health of the enemy units. So by staying at level two, the entire run, all of the units are going to die um, super fast. Rune Tracer can kill them. Uh, your Santa Water can kill them, including bosses. They all die super quickly. The other thing is that Rune Tracer has an insanely high tick rate. As long as it's hitting or near enemies, it's gonna tick like almost instantly. So it'll either it'll either either knock back enemies or enemies that are knockback resistant will take insane amounts of damage as long as they're within the space of the Rune Tracer hitbox. So you'll see bosses just get insane amounts of damage as they try to approach you and walk through the Rune Tracer's hitbox. So that's why the surviving works. Uh, what you're also going to notice is, um, I think about at this point, you're seeing that uh, enemies are no longer dropping experience gems. And the reason for that, stop it. The reason for that, I was talking to the, the game, is that um, in order to save your CPU, the developer added a maximum amount of experience gems that can be on the ground at any time. And once you reach over that amount, they start to consolidate into a single gem. You can actually see that gem right now is on the right side, that red gem. We got super lucky. Sometimes Clarice gets wild and starts chucking Santa waters off the screen for no reason. So oftentimes your, your red gem, and the way the game is programmed is it always wants to find the outermost gem, and that's the one that's gonna become your mega gem. So when Clarice decides to spaz out and chuck a gem completely off screen, Oftentimes it'll kill an off-screen enemy, and that will be where you get your red gem generated. So, but we're lucky. We're lucky. She didn't spaz out. She kept herself calm, and now we have the red gem on the screen. So we have a very, very easy path forward uh, until we get our level. So you'll watch this boss instantly just takes insane amounts of damage and dies. Uh, now, we can get treasure chests. This is fine. It's very normal that you're going to collect several chests along the way, because as bosses get close to you and die... The only space for the chest is going to be right on top of your character. Totally fine. As long as you don't max a weapon out, in particular, as long as you don't max Rune Tracer out to level 8, you're fine. Because again, what we need is we want to be able to get the Empty Tome and get it to max level before we max out the Rune Tracer. So it, it gets complicated in a level. We'll talk about leveling up later. But the goal is we don't want Rune Tracer to hit level 8 before we reach the end game and we're uh, leveling up our uh, empty tome. Alternatively, you can go no empty tome at all. No, 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 it's not an AFK blocker. It's, uh, it's, it's giving gems. All the gem is, is, is getting into that single red gem on the right side. So once we get that red gem at the end, it's gonna have like 20,000 kills worth of experience in one gem. We'll level up from two to 100, like instantly. And then it's about positioning yourself in the right place and making sure you level up in exactly the right order so that your Lancet is continually um, freezing the Reaper so that you don't die. So it's that combination which makes it perfect and you can sit for a long time and just scale up the damage. Okay, so that's the setup. Um, and the reason why you have to do it with this setup is it's incredibly hard to kill a death that spawn a reaper that spawns later in the game. The reaper that spawns when you're level two has 1.3 million hit points. That's 650,000 times your level. So if you do that at level 80, it's gonna have 40 times as many hit points as at level two. So this is why you do this level two strategy. Certainly you can get to the end game and have the same build, but you won't spawn death with the 1.3 million health. You'll spawn it with, you know, 60 million health or even more, right? So uh, that's why you do this strategy. So we're gonna sit, we're gonna wait, we're gonna chill. We're gonna occasionally get chests and we hope that they're not mega or super chests. We hope that they don't keep targeting Rune Tracer because we really want Rune Tracer to take advantage of the, uh, the empty tome. Yeah, it's six, maybe it's 635,000. It's I know it's more than a million damage you have to do um, on a level two Reaper spawn. 
Now you can kill the other ones, but it takes like minutes and it's really hard to survive that long. Um, it's not impossible, but it's really hard to survive that long. But yeah, so we're gonna chill right here. We're gonna wait for another 25 minutes until it's time. Uh, so at this point, I think I've explained most of what I wanna do up till here. So now we can talk about other topics and then I'll edit the video so that we uh, we capture just the end part. Ugh. So what should we talk about? Hello, Cablo. What should we talk about while we wait for 25 minutes? Here, Elena, come slide over and I want you to tell everybody what you're doing in Animal Crossing right now. You don't want to, but the people want to know, Elena. They want to know what you're... Whoa! Gmax Happy Meal, thank you for the uh, thank you for the tier one gift sub subscription, and uh, congratulations, Charlie Pops, on your uh, subscription for the month. Really appreciate that. Yeah, so now we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna be chilling for a, for a hot minute. Oh man, hey, no problem. Happy to do it. There are other guides out there, but I feel like they tell you how to do it. They don't explain in detail why it works, and I always like to explain the mechanics behind it. So why is it that this works? It's always very interesting, I feel like. Get your get your uh, never lucky emote ready. Feel free to do it. A, do a couple practice never luckies. We might have to use it later, depending on how this goes. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of explaining why. I think it helps to understand. Uh, yeah, we're doing a uh, we're doing dual stream. As long as I'm allowed, I will continue to dual stream. Eventually, we're gonna have to shut down the YouTube stream once I become a partner. But until then, we rage on, sticking to the man that we can stream twice at the same time. Um, yeah. Well, so what can we talk about? We've been, oh, okay, uh, last time I talked about television shows, we're on this brand new show. It's a BBC show called Ghosts. Has anybody seen this? It's on HBO Max right now. It is hilarious. It's like that perfect blend of, uh, is it harder to do it this way? What do you mean harder to do it? On, you mean the dual stream or are you specifically talking about the, uh, the run? What's the context for your question, I should say? Like dual stream? No, it's not hard. Yeah, I pay for a subscription. I'm I'm giving money to Satan himself, Streamlabs, so that I can dual stream. I could do it with OBS, but it's uh, a lot of work and I've been doing Streamlabs long before I knew that they were Satan incarnate. So uh, the, the change, the change management process is quite high for me to switch from Streamlabs to standard OBS. And so I just pay the monthly fee. It's great for tax, you know, tax liability. It uh, lowers my tax liability because anything that I pay for uh, streaming is a tax deduction I can do at the end of the year. And it's not that much. It's like 15 a month to to get the Streamlabs uh, Prime or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm watching this new show uh, called Ghosts. And the premise of the show is uh, this old Victorian style house. Um, the, the woman who owns the house dies. And there are a whole bunch of ghosts that have refused or not refused, but been unable to move on to the next life. And so they're haunting this house. And it's a mix of ghosts from all different time periods. So you got like a... Uh, so a member of parliament from like the, the 90s you have like um an old renaissance princess you have uh a general from world war ii you have, you have all these like and then like a scout leader from like even more modern so you have all these different uh all these different eras covered by all these ghosts that live in this house and the owner of the house she dies and the only living relative she has is this like late 20s, early 30s woman and her, I think they're married. I can't, I can't remember if they're married or if they're, I think they're married, 
So her and her husband, they find out that they've inherited this house out of nowhere while apartment hunting throughout uh, London. And they decide rather than sell the house, they're going to keep the house and try to live in it. And the ghosts get very upset about this. this is, by the way, I'm not spoiling anything too big because this all happens in like the first few minutes of the first episode. So they go move into this house and they start fixing it up because it's in like a terrible condition. And the ghosts are very upset. And they plot to kill the owners of the house or to scare them away. So either way, they're either going to scare them away or they're going to kill them in order to get them out of the house because they don't want them there. They want, uh, they want to be left alone. And through circumstances, um, the woman falls out of a window, doesn't die, but goes into an induced coma, which causes her to nearly be dead. And the result of her near death is that now she's able to see the ghosts. <laughs> and so it's like this relationship between her and these ghosts that don't really want her and her husband there and slowly they're like trying to like figure out an agreement where they can live together in peace. Uh, but then you have this like huge generationality of these different ghosts that all live together and have to like kind of be around each other, but have completely different backgrounds, have completely different perspectives, completely different technological understandings. It's hilarious. It's so funny. Um, one of like the best things about the show is there's a whole group of a whole group of people that live in the basement that all died from the plague and uh, they could they can go anywhere in the house but they feel most comfortable in the basement and because over the years they've been sitting in this basement it's it's like a, it's not like a dark comedy it's just more like a straight comedy it's on uh, HBO Max right now so no it's not really it's kind of dark but I would say it's more it's more of like a light comedy with some dark elements to it but yeah, so there's all these plague victims that are in the basement. And because they've been there for so long, they watch the workers install all of the boiler and electrical system. And so the whole time the guy is trying to fix the boiler, all of these plague ghosts that are like, have been there for like hundreds of years are criticizing him and telling him how he's doing all of it wrong. He can't hear them because he can't see the ghosts. But he, they're just like, no, 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 don't, 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 don't turn that lever. Don't turn that lever. Oh, oh, what's he doing? Oh, he needs to push the button. He needs, he needs to, he needs to redo this crank and push the button. What is he doing? He's going to ruin it. So it's just funny. It's funny because they all like have adapted to like this modern life in very different ways. So anyway, highly recommended. Really enjoyed this show. Uh, so if you haven't watched it yet, I, I would, yeah, go give it a try. If you like that kind of like British dry humor which I love it. Uh, it's very much in my style of humor. Um, my wife and I have been loving it. We've been burning through episodes like crazy. Uh, but I think what else? Oh, other news. I don't know if you guys are aware. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, the game that caused a million gamers to cry out in despair, has actually been updated to where console owners now will have the same experience as PC owners for the first time. So I have it on PS4. I just downloaded today the PS5 version of Cyberpunk. I'm super hyped. I got into it for like five, five minutes just to check the visuals. Massive upgrade. There's ray tracing. The, the loading times are like cut into eight. So normally it would take me like a solid 10 seconds just to load my game. Now it's like less than two seconds. So massive, massive improvement. They overhauled the perk system. They overhauled uh, enemy AI. So I don't want to get super burned again, but like, yeah, it's, it's hard to get. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about that next. But yeah, so I'm super hyped tonight. Uh, I'll be doing my first stream of Cyberpunk since it first came out. Um, so if you're interested, uh, there's gonna be a gap because I'm gonna do dinner, but later later tonight, um, I'm gonna be jumping into Cyberpunk with a brand new character. We'll start all the way over um, and we'll be playing it on the PS5. So there'll be no video camera because I don't have a camera set up in my living room, but I did buy a new mic uh, that has more of like an omnidirectional mic so that my wife and I can play it together and stream it together. 
So I'm super hyped, super hyped. So if you're interested in joining then uh, and see what's changed, we're gonna dive into it. I didn't ever complete the game. It was so frustrating because it would crash all the time that I never actually got super far. But apparently the new version is very, very stable. It's gotten very, very good feedback so far from all the different outlets that I've seen that have engaged with the new update. So I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that, uh, that it's going to be a much better experience. Yeah, the game's kind of playing itself right now. Don't you like games that play themselves, or do you like to play games? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. She'd rather play the game than just sit here and watch it play itself. So, yeah, 14 minutes left. What else do we want to talk about? Oh, okay, how did I get the PS5? So, here's my PS5 experience. So, uh, yeah, it's super hard to get. Super, super hard to get. But not impossible. There was a wave back in September uh, where PS5 started coming out um, and were, were being made available at retailers and through online resources. So first thing I tried to do was get it through the PlayStation Store. So they were kind of in shifts sending out through PlayStation Store PS5s in waves. The first time I tried to get a PS5 to the PlayStation Store. I got into the queue and I was basically, the, the once you get in the queue, then there's a second queue. So you queue for the queue and you get randomly assigned a number, one through how many people were in the initial queue. And then they estimate your time based on how many people are in the queue. First estimate was longer than one hour. And it stayed that way until there was a pop-up that said, okay, now we've sold all of our PS5s. You didn't get one, try again another time. Okay, so I left the queue. I did that two more times. The second time, uh, same experience. Got in the queue late, got in the second queue late, over 60 minutes, never got into the store. The third time, got into the queue, then the queue rolled over into the second queue, and it said 40 minutes. So it didn't say more than 60 minutes, it said 40 minutes until you get into the store. So I was like, okay, this is our time. Time ticks down, get down to zero. And by the way, the reason I got that is because I queued with multiple devices. I queued with two. I queued with my phone and I queued with my laptop. Got less than 40 minutes. So after 40 minutes, got into the store, logged into my account. What the heck just happened? Hold on. I accidentally made it full screen. I don't want it to be full screen. Uh, I guess it's fine. We'll live with it. But it just it got bigger all of a sudden. It's also bigger on my. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's okay here. Uh, anyway, so uh, just, just want to make sure I didn't break anything that we're running right now. Alt plus Enter. That's what I did, but it didn't. It's not doing it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Again, not gonna stress. Don't want to stress. Um, well, maybe if we do this. No, does anyway, doesn't matter. What the heck? There we go. Let me just quickly bounce, bounce. And now we should be good. Okay. Resume. So, yeah, it was really weird. Uh, so anyway, got all the way to the store. And in the time it took me to select the PS5, add it to my cart, and then log in, all the PS5s had been sold. So I didn't get one. Super, super demotivating. So I was like, ah, oh, crap, am I gonna keep doing this again? And I thought, all right, let me see if there's any other way. Just so happened that at the time, there was a guy that if you followed his tweets, he would tell you every possible way you can get a PS5. And he tweeted out, Best Buy is getting PS5s. And I went onto Best Buy's website and confirmed it. They had a whole bunch both the uh, disc version and the non-disc version. And they had one, it's like 20 minutes away from my house. So I'm like, super cool, I'll wake up super early, go get in line, get myself a PS5 from Best Buy. Best Buy. So wake up early, get there, line is insane. It's already like out the door, down the whole street, around the corner, 
massive. At least like 200, 250 people. All right, fine. I don't know how many PS5s they have, and I don't know how many people are in line for Xboxes, right? Could be people for Xboxes. They were also hard to get. So I got in the back of the line. Oh, F11's the other way, okay. Um, so I went through the line. They open up about two hours later. So I got there two hours early, still at the back of the line. And, and there were people behind me. Like it was like, I was probably like, maybe like just over halfway down. So close to half of the people online were behind me and it was still massive. So they start letting people in one at a time. People are walking out with PS5s, they're cheering, everybody's like hyped. PS5s are in stock, holy crap, it's amazing. And uh, we get through and I'm about 20 people away from the door when they announce we're out of PS5s, none more. No disc, no non-disc, we're out of PS5s. So I got super, super down. But I was like, all right, fine. We can try the PlayStation Store thing again. So I got myself completely ready. I had my laptop, my wife's laptop, my phone, my wife's phone, our iPad, and my desktop ready to go. So six devices, we were gonna log in, get in the queue. So I got all six of them into the queue. And then you wait until the queue rolls. My laptop gets 10 minutes until you're into the store. And my phone gets 16 minutes until you're into the store. And then my desktop gets 40 minutes until you're into the store. And the other three all had 60 plus. So rolled super well. Like probably in like the first 10, 15 people on my laptop. So I called my wife's brother who was also looking for a PS5. And I'm like, hey, I just queued up. And he said he queued up and he had a 40 minute and a 60 minute. And I said, hey, I've got a five minute and an, or I got a, yeah, I got a five, six, I can't remember what the number was. It was like five or eight minutes. Somewhere between five and eight minutes. And then we got an 11 minute. So I called him and said, hey, my 11 minute, if it still has one, do you want me to order one? So I get in with my five minute. I've already pre-logged in. Everything's ready. Buy the PS5. We're good to go. At 11 minutes, his account gets locked. So I'm in the store. I've got the PS5 in the cart, but I can't log into his account. So he's like furiously trying to log in and reset his password, unlock his account so that I can log into his account so that I can buy it. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like I'm in the store ready to go. He texts me, here's your new password. I get in, log in, check it out and immediately get the notification that they're out. But the order went through. So we're like, we don't know. Order went through, but then we also got the notification that they're out of PS5s. So we don't know what happened. Mine seems pretty secure. His is kind of like on the fence. A week later, when it's supposed to be delivered, we both get a notification. It's been delayed with no date of when it's gonna be delivered. And we're like freaking out. Like we, we paid for it, we ordered it, we got it. What the heck's happening? It's being delayed even further. But then like within like almost an hour, we get, it's been delayed one day and it's coming in. And sure enough, about a day after it was supposed to be delivered, it arrived. But we got like super, for a moment there, we were like, dang it. Like we got it, but we didn't get it. But now we got it. So yeah, so we, I ended up getting one. It took a lot of work. I had to like really pre-plan everything, but ended up working out for us. So that's why I say the people that like are trying to get a PS5 and they're trying to get a PS5 by like showing up at Walmart on random days to see if they have one. Like, of course you're never gonna get one. But if you really want a PS5 and you don't want to pay stupid, you know, resell the scalpers, if you want to pay that price, absolutely you can do it. But you do have to like go through those channels and you do have to kind of be ready. And you have to try more than once in a row. But yeah, I mean, I got, we ended up getting two of them. One for us and then one for my brother-in-law. He paid me back. I wasn't going to pay for it, but I was happy to, uh, to queue for him. <laughs> and a lotion's 11 heist. Yeah, that's how I got my PS5. Daddy, what's I'm waiting for... Uh, do, you wanna, do you want me to explain it to you? 
Okay, so there's a, a kind of a glitch in the game. You see this square right here? That's one of the weapons in the game. And if you position yourself really well with this character, the square is really big and it protects your character from ever getting hit. So normally when you play, I need to be moving and dodging and doing stuff. But because of this specific character with this specific weapon, I can actually just sit here forever. Remember the chest for my one video? I'll show it to you later, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's how I got... Hold on, what are we at with weapon level? Yeah, we're three and four, we're good. We can still get empty tome and finish off our levels. Um, so, yeah, that was my that was my experience getting a PS5. And it's been great. Like, I really like the PS5. One, the interface is, like, so much better than the PS4. So much easier to navigate. So much faster and smoother. The loading times are, are legit insane. Like, you're, like... Click on the button, you're in the game. It's crazy. Even Cyberpunk, now, with the update. Pre-update, it was still super long. But now with the update, it's like two seconds, I'm in the game. So we'll show that later when we play on stream. And then, like, I love the haptic feedback on the controller. It's super fun. So I don't know if you guys are aware, it's like one of the big selling points, right? That uh, as you push buttons, the game will, like, haptic feedback and put pressure. This has also been added into Cyberpunk. So now when you're using certain guns, the certain guns will do haptic feedback um, based on like the type of gun. So if it's like a machine gun, it'll be like heavy on your finger while you're playing, which is kind of cool. Okay. So anyway, my PS5 experience. We're about there. We got four minutes left. Okay. It seems like a good time for me to start talking about what are we going to do once we hit the 30 minute mark. So first thing is you got a beeline for the red gem if you can see it. Now, if you can't see it, it's very, very likely off screen and to the right. That's because that's where Medici tends to throw her psycho uh, Santa waters. She throws them off screen to the right. And uh, so that's where you're like 99% of the time, that's where you're gonna find your red gem is down to the right. You're gonna beeline there on the way your priorities are Laurel, Lancet, Tiragisu. Because those three are the only way to extend the time you have to get to the red gem. Once you get the red gem, you're fine, because then you'll have all the time in the world to level up and get there. But if you die before you get to the red gem, you're done. Luckily, you should have... Oh, crap. Okay, it's mixed between the two. We're at seven though. I don't want Santa Waters to get maxed out. We're in a little bit of a dangerous position. But yeah, you gotta get to the red gem. Luckily, uh, you should have one revival if you've gotten it from the uh, upgrade shop. So that will help. But then yeah, Tiragisu, if you can get it, Lancet, Laurel, just all that to keep you safe. Make sure you don't die before you get the red gem. Then, once you get the red gem, your number one priority is to, well, depending. Okay, there's there's two options. I gotta, hold on, we'll talk about this. Uh, how can I talk about this? I have the screenshot up, but if I switch over, it's gonna pause the game. Hold on. Let me get it up and ready. So. Ah, stop. Yeah, okay, so there's like, there's like a sequence. Uh, the sequence is, if you took cooldown reduction, then your first pivot is, are you gonna get Spellbinder or not? If you get Spellbinder, then you want to, if you remember, I talked about there's this bug with cooldown reduction, a bug with the Tome. The Tome's effect only gets put onto the weapon when the weapon levels up. This is why I've been talking about not leveling up Santa Water and Rune Tracer to level eight yet. Because if they get to level eight, then I will not be able to level them up and get the full impact of the cooldown reduction. With Lancet, you need to have a very specific amount of cooldown reduction so that it'll tick and keep resetting onto uh, the Reaper. Otherwise, it'll go too fast or too slow and Reaper will kill you. So the timing is, if you got, if you got um, your cooldown reduction in the 
what's the word for it? In the um, as as your pre-level uh, stuff. What is that? What was that called? Power ups. If you got the cooldown reduction power ups. You need to level Lancet to level 7 when you either have no Tomb and you do have Spellbinder. So if you have Spellbinder maxed out, you want to level up Lancet before you get any Tombs. Otherwise, it's going to throw off your timing. If you get the level up, if you get the power-ups and you don't get Spellbinder, then you want to have it when you have three tomes. Then you max out your Lancet. Then you get your remaining tomes. Then you max out Rune Tracer and Laurel. So Laurel you want all the way at the end. Lan Rune Tracer you want all the way at the end. Whatever other weapons you get, you want all the way at the end. Your other upgrades are Bracer, Spinach, and Duplicator. And normally you also want... Uh, Tiramisu, Tiragisu, and Area of Effect. Is there a link to the pick anywhere? Yeah. I will, I will, when I post the video, I'll post it. Um, but yeah, I can, I can, I'll probably create one, because the one they have is kind of like poorly drawn. But yeah, so basically, two possibilities. If you have gotten it as a power-up, there are two paths. If you get Spellbinder, you want zero tomes with a max Lancet. If you don't get Spellbinder, you want three tomes with a max lancet. Again, spellbinder, zero. No spellbinder, three. Then you max out your lancet. Then you max out the tome. Then you max out all your other weapons. That's the summary. There's two paths, zero or three. And it's zero for spellbinder, three for no spellbinder. Very important as well. Do not get lightning ring. No matter what, do not get lightning ring. Lightning Ring will completely mess up everything. You want either Bone, or Garlic, or uh, Magic Wand, Fire Wand, whatever. Do not get Lightning Ring. Lightning Ring will always hit the other Reapers, and the other Reapers getting hit will send them to you. So again, if you get Spellbinder, don't get any Tomes. Level up Rune Tracer, or level up your Lancet all the way. Then, get your Tome, upgrade your Tome to max, get the rest of your stuff. If you don't take Spellbinder, level up your Tome to 3, then max out your Lancet, then max out everything, then max out your Tome, and then everything else. Don't get Lightning Ring, do get Bracer, do get Spinach, do get Duplicator, if you can get it, Candelabra Door. If you can get it, uh, Tiramisu. If you can get it, um, Absorber Orb. Obviously, you can't get six, or you can't get seven, so you're gonna have to pick six. But you can like swap out, for example, you can swap out Spellbinder for Absorber Orb. So if we get if we get an early tome, that's a very clear indication that we're gonna have to knock it Spellbinder. We'll get to three, get Lancet, and go. Okay, here we go. Twenty seconds left. Got my controller ready. Let's just make sure that it's... Okay, controller's connected. We're going to beeline for the red gem. We're going to try to get Tiragisu, Lancet, and... Um, Tiragisu, Lancet, and Laurel. And then we'll worry about the rest later. And then I'll talk about positioning once all those things are in place. There we go. Okay, Laurel. Fantastic. I think I'm actually going to get Lancet first, though. Now we can get Laurel. We can get Bracer. We can get Duplicator. Let's continue to level up Lancet. Um, with Spellbinder, we can do this now. We just cannot take the Tome now. So remember, Spellbinder, zero Tomes. And Candle... Okay, we want to just focus on Lancet. Anytime Lancet comes up, we upgrade the Lancet. Uh, we can do Fire Wand, that's fine. We can do Magic Wand, also fine. There's Lancet, gotta get Lancet. Okay. Uh, let's go Magic Wand. We can keep upgrading other stats, so Candle Labrador is fine. 
Okay, there's Tome. We don't take Tome because we haven't maxed out Lancet yet. Keep Lan keep Lan Lancet. Lancet level 6. Keep going Spellbinder. Okay, Lancet's now maxed. Okay, we have Spellbinder. Lancet's now maxed. We are safe to take the Tome. Okay. So we're good now. We're good. Uh, we're going to re-roll here because we don't want to take Santa Water. Well, I guess we can... Santa Water probably doesn't matter to get the cooldown reduction. We're probably okay. We absolutely do not want to level up Rune Tracer until after we get the Tome, though. Uh, we can get a Tract Orb, but I'm going to go Bracer first. Bracer. Spinach. Laurel. Well, I guess we can keep leveling up everything else first. Uh, Spellbinder. Spellbinder. We need the Tome. Have to get Tome. There's Crown. Spellbinder. <sighs> okay, Spinach. Candle Labrador. Fire Wand. Candle Labrador. Spinach. We need the Tome. We need the Tome. Where's our Tome at? Laurel. There's Tome. Okay, we're good. Now we gotta max out the Tome. Max out the Tome next. We can keep going Laurel for now. Magic Wand. Fire Wand. Keep them all low. Tome. Laurel. Tome. Let's go Fire Wand. Magic Wand. Magic Wand. Fire Wand. Tome. Rune Tracer. Fire Wand. Tome. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we maxed out Spellbinder. We maxed out your, your Lancet. Then we got the Tome. We've maxed out the Tome. Now we can max out all of our weapons and they'll all take benefit from, benefit from the cooldown reduction. Okay? So that was basically the perfect setup. Now, we're going to start moving because we want to get as close... We want to get as close to the treasure chest as we can so that we evolve our weapons and also increase our amount of invulnerability. Now we're going to move into place. We're going to move. We're going to get so that we're halfway between the chair and the table and then we're going to go up just a bit. Let me just double check on my positioning. I have a picture of this too. Uh, da, 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 da. Positioning is... Where is it? Right here. Yeah. So you want table, splitting your characters in half. The big table edge, splitting your character in half. You can even say right side in line with the left side of the small table. And then you want to go just one little step up. Okay? So. I think we're just a little bit to the right. That might have been too much. Okay, there's our Evolved Hellfire. There's our Evolved Magic Wand. And then a bunch of nonsense. The reason you want to go up just a bit is so that the Rune Tracer has room to bounce inside of that area. Okay, once we get through all this... Once we get through all this... Tap over, a little bit up. Now we're good. And then we just sit. We just wait. And pray. Votes in chat. Who thinks we did it? Do you believe, chat? Do you believe? You gotta believe. I need your belief. Show me your belief in chat. You think we did it. Is this the magic time? We got good timing. You look, our, uh, right now, 
We're hitting death every single time. No, nope, we're in the spot where he literally... We killed him. We got him. One death down. Do I hear two deaths? Mmm. Boom. One death down. Can we get two? This one's harder. Because now... Now... He requires an insane amount of damage. Remember, we're at level 122. He's going to require 60 more... 60 times more damage. Than before. And we unlock missing no. And there's no cheats applied. No mods. No game changing. Yeah. Once you get the spot, it's very easy. This was the problem. Is I kept doing this other kind of way to do it. This is much easier. Much, much, much easier than the other spot. So here's the big mystery. Can we get the second kill here? It's a toss up. It's a lot of damage we have to do here. It's 60 times as much damage. But it's looking pretty good so far. Come on. Okay, the second one's still in range. Do we get second kill? Second kill hype? It's hard to do without bone. I will say that. Got him. Got him. I mean, we're still getting him. We're still getting him. I think it's too hard without bone, though. I think you really need bone to get the second kill. But maybe I'm wrong. But we're we're getting really good on these stuns right now. Super lucky. Maybe we can even go for a living as long as possible here. Okay, there's third, third uh, reaper. Third Reaper is going to kill us right here. But we will be able to uh, revive. We still have one more revive. Got him. And we're dead. But you know what? We freaking killed the Reaper. That's true. It is the fourth Reaper. And Red Death. Sick. <laughs> so that is the No Bone Reaper Guide. Hope you guys enjoyed. Those of you that are live, appreciate your support. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock him. He's a blasphemous mockery. And uh, with that, we're going to end the stream. This has been Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, would appreciate a like. If you have not yet subscribed and want to see more of these videos, that's the best way to do it. Best way to support the channel. Um, if you're feeling super feisty, feel free to subscribe on Twitch or become a YouTube member and even greater support for the channel. But I will see you guys in the next 